Good morning everyone, Val here and welcome to this month's cooking collab and this month's cooking collab is sponsored by me, Valerie Reese. It's all about the adventure and uh, we're going to have an adventure in cooking. So this month the theme of our cooking collab is soups or stews to warm you on a cold day. So the people participating in this collab will be in the description box below. So go and check out what they're cooking this month and give them some <clears throat> love. Tell them I sent you over. If uh, you're not subscribed to them already, consider cons subscribing because uh, the people that do all the collabs, the tags and the cooking collabs and everything, they're all a great bunch of YouTubers, uh, awesome people. So feel free to show them as much love as you show me. And I appreciate everybody coming to my channel and checking out what I'm doing every day. Um, truly appreciate your friendship and uh, let's get on with cooking. So today, because I'm cooking a soup or a stew, something to keep me warm, um, I'm going to be cooking in the slow cooker. Slow cooker is great when uh, you have a lot of things to get done. I've spent my morning trying to get down, taking down a lot of the Christmas decorations and I'm recording this about a week and a half before the uh, it's going to be posted on YouTube. So don't think I waited till like the end of the month to take my decorations down. It's like the 10th now or something like that. Because I've been outside taking down lights and wreaths and everything from my front porch, I've made myself some hot chocolate. So this is sugar free. So I'm going to be enjoying some sugar free hot chocolate while I'm making some soup and make doubly warm, get doubly warm today. So my base for my soup is going to be uh, ground beef. And this is going to be a ground beef or hamburger uh, stew. So I have about a pound and a quarter, I guess, of ground beef, depending how big your family is. This is a uh, easy recipe to just add more to it. If your family's large and you or you want a lot of leftovers, just add more to it. I'm using about uh, a pound and a quarter or so. I've got an onion. I will not use this whole onion. I may use uh, a quarter to a half of this onion. I'm going to dice this onion up. I use Worcestershire sauce. I put this in my ground beef when I'm cooking my ground beef on the stove. Uh, just adds a lot of uh, flavor and, and, and uh, just smells a whole lot better when I'm cooking the ground beef, I, to be honest. I, I just like the way it smells and, and um, I like the flavor it adds to ground beef. I, I like garlic and Steve likes garlic, so I have three small cloves of garlic that I'm going to dice up to cook with my onion, saute with my onion in the ground beef. For the base of the soup, I have some sodium-free beef broth. And then we're going to add in some diced potatoes. And I've got some potatoes here that I've gotten out of my pantry that I'm going to dice up. And I am doing a refrigerator and freezer challenge this month. So I'm trying to use things that are already in my pantry and my refrigerator and my freezer. And I'm trying to clear out my freezers because they're a mess and I need to use up what I already have before I buy more stuff. And it's so disorganized right now that um, all of this stuff is coming out of the freezer. So you'll see here that I'm gonna use mixed vegetables, but I have some leftover in a bag that I've had in my freezer. And I also have some leftover peas and carrots. You can use whatever vegetables you like. You could use fresh vegetables, but I'm going with what I have in the house that I need to use up. So I'm gonna be using up these two packets of vegetables. Um, or you could use a whole pack of just mixed vegetables. If you don't like what's in the mixed vegetables, just use peas and corns and carrots. Whatever your heart desires. This is what my heart is going to do today because I'm trying to clean out my freezers of all these leftover things that have been in there a long time. So what we first need to do is I'm going to saute my onions and my garlic. So let me cut those up and then we'll go over to the stove and we're going to get those sauteed up with the hamburger and uh, we'll start there. I have my pan on medium heat on the stove and I've added about a tablespoon or so of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and that's extra light. 
I've cut up my onions and my garlic. It's all in this dish here. And I'm going to put it in the pan and saute that up for a little bit here. Maybe uh, four or five minutes just to get it translucent. So let me saute this, uh, let you know how long it takes, and I will be right back. Alright, so that's been about five minutes. I'm going to add in my ground beef. And then I'm going to add in my Worcestershire sauce. And I don't measure. I just put a nice, generous portion on there. And I also want to add, I have some Uncle Steve's Competition Cow Shake. And this is uh, some spices. It basically is salt and pepper, garlic, paprika, um, and some other little spices in there. And I'm going to add a little bit of that. You can spice your ground beef however you want to spice it. But I'm going to add a few shakes of that in there. Give it some extra flavor. If you don't know Uncle Steve's shake, um, you can look that up online. He has all kinds of different shakes. He's an awesome guy. So I'm going to brown this till it's cooked all the way through. It's thoroughly cooked. It's probably going to take me about five minutes or so. I'm leaving it on a medium, medium low heat. Just want to get it chopped up good there. Alright, so let me get this cooked up and we'll move on to the next step. Alright, my ground beef is done cooking. It's looking really good. I drained the grease out of it. You always want to try to drain as much of the grease out of it as you can. You don't want to eat all that grease. It's better if you get the lean ground beef, but if it's too expensive to buy, which I understand because I'm not buying it right now because it's way too expensive. If you catch it on sale, it might be alright, but it's way too expensive at regular price right now. So I get about the 80 20 and or 83 something um, and that's what I'm using but I, I'll uh, drain the grease out of it when I'm finished cooking it. So let's cut off this uh, heat over here and we're going to take it over to our crock pot and put it into our crock pot or our slow cooker. So I'm going to turn my slow cooker on to low and uh, it's, uh, it's ready to go there. Grab my pot holders and bring my ground beef over and just gonna dump my ground beef into the pot. All right now I have my uh, beef broth. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the beef broth in. And I'm gonna use the whole box. Okay. We'll give that a little stir and I'm gonna go ahead and let this get heated up in the meantime I've peeled my potatoes I need to dice these up I'm gonna go ahead and dice these up and my vegetables are thawing out they're looking pretty good so I'm gonna let them get nice and thawed out I'm gonna put the cover on this and I'm just gonna let this get warmed once I dice my potatoes 
and my vegetables thaw out, I'm going to put them back into into my dish because I'm not ready for them to start cooking yet. It's only it's only like 11 o'clock in the morning and we're not going to be eating till probably 5.30. So I really don't need the potatoes and the peas and the carrots to go in until maybe uh, two hours, maybe two hours before, so like maybe at 3.30. But I'm going to dice everything and have it ready and at 3.30 I'll come in and I'll add it to the pot. Right before we serve this, maybe half an hour before we serve this, I'm going to make a little gravy to go in it. I'll make a, a flour mixture to put in it to, so it forms a little gravy so we have a nice stew in there. We'll go through that whole process. But I'm going to let this get warmed up and I'm going to go ahead and dice up my potatoes, put them in the bowl, and we're going to put them into the oven. So, I mean into the refrigerator. Let me aim you over here. I'll show you about the size. Let me put the spoon here for later. I'll show you about the size I'm going to dice them into. I don't want them too big because we're eating a soup and we don't want big chunks in there. We, we just want a little bite. So I'm going to do about this size of a potato. Just a little bite size. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and continue to dice these. I'm going to go ahead and throw my peas and carrots and everything in the bowl with these because they're pretty thawed out. So I ha all I'll have is a bowl full of vegetables that at around 3.30 I can add to this pot. But I'm going to go ahead and let the uh, ground beef simmer into the in with the water on low. It's going to take a while to warm up. So I'll just let it simmer on low, maybe even turn it down on warm. And let that sit in there until 3.30. And we'll, I'll catch up with you then. These are the vegetables, the potatoes I chopped up and the vegetables I took out of the freezer. Uh, I want more vegetables. There's not enough vegetables in there for me. So I went into the freezer and I found some baby limas. So I'm going to add some baby limas to, the, to mine. You can put whatever vegetables you want in yours. But I want more vegetables and that, you know, to, I want a kind of a good mix with these potatoes. I don't want it all potatoes. So, I might just go ahead and use that whole bag, what was left over in that bag. It's a great way to use leftovers, leftover vegetables. So that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the refrigerator. Until I'm ready to put it in the soup this afternoon. So it looks good, doesn't it? I am back in the kitchen. I've been working back in my craft room. I'm about to put the vegetables into my slow cooker. So I'm going to aim it down over here. This is what it's looking like. It's cooking up nicely, nice and warm. And we're going to add our potatoes and our vegetables into there. Give it a nice stir around. Now, you don't have to have started this as early in the morning as I did. This didn't have to sit in the slow cooker as long. Or if you're leaving in the morning and you're going to work, um, you could have put the vegetables in there. It wouldn't have hurt anything to have the vegetables sitting in there all day. They're just going to be really soft. I, like, uh, I don't like my vegetables like mushy. So, this is ready. I'm going to sit it in here. It's, like I said, it's almost 3.30 now. It's about 3.25. This is going to cook on low for a couple more hours, get the vegetables nice and cooked up, and then I'm going to make my gravy for it, and uh, we'll thicken it up a little, make a stew out of it. 
So I'm gonna, it's on low. I'm gonna continue to let it cook. And uh, we'll come back in about an hour and a half to do the gravy for it. My stew is looking wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and thicken it up. So I have a quarter cup of flour here. And I'm going to add some cold water. And I'm going to add about... Uh, half of the quarter cup so it, it wasn't quite nope I need a all right so that's a quarter cup of water and I'm going to do cold water here because I want to make a paste So once I have the paste with no lumps in it, I'm going to take some of the hot broth and I've got to temper this so that it, if I was to pour it in here, it would all just clump and I don't want it to clump. So I'm going to temper it with a little bit of the hot juice. And I'm going to add a little bit more here. And this is going to make our gravy. All right. I'm going to do it one more time. And some vegetables went in with that, but that's okay because it's all going back in the pot. So that should be warm enough now that it's kind of tempered. I'm going to pour it in. Stir it up. And that's going to make the gravy for our stew here. Now if you want a thicker gravy, then add a little more. I mean, you can make some extra gravy and or extra flour mixture and thicken it up. But this will thicken up a little bit more as it cooks, continues to cook. I did turn it up on high for about a half an hour just to bring the temperature up in here a little bit long, a little bit more. But uh, I think it's fine. It, it's down on low. It's been. I just turned it up on high for half an hour just to help to get the potatoes to start to cook, and then I cut it back down onto the low. And I think it's it's good now. So I'm going to leave it covered. I'm going to get the table set. Steve should be home in about 15 minutes, so it should be ready to go. I'm going to get a salad together. We can have a salad with it if you want salad. And uh, we'll be ready for dinner. So we'll catch you back in just a few minutes. Alright, this is the stew. It's all ready and looking good. Steve's home. Say hi. Hi. Alright, so this is uh, the cooking collab. And it is hot soup for a cold day, and this is our hamburger stew. So, and we've had it before, so I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. I just added a little bit different vegetables because I was trying to get um, the it's freezer good. challenge. It's add, good. It's add good. some extra vegetables in there. I put some, um, so put some baby limas in there. So. Steve always adds a lot of salt on his food. It's not good for him. But... Uh, not always, just sometimes. Always. I like my potatoes. I like salt on my potatoes. All right, so go check out everybody in the description box below. That's good. And, you like it. Yeah, and try the soup. Thank you all for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. And uh, remember, life's all about the adventure. Bye now.